Okay, here is the Krishi IoT weather device. Uh, this is powered from Raspberry Pi, and there is a DHT22 sensor which is providing the temperature and humidity values. So right now it is sending the data of temperature and humidity. You can see the values of temperature and humidity over here in the JSON format. And I'm now I'm going to take the screen to the mobile app wherein ideally you will be able to see the same values real time on the mobile app. So this is our first part of the Krishi IoT. Okay, now we are going to demonstrate the Krishi IoT switch. So it has got a couple of relays. Instead of connecting an electrical motor which is going to pump the water, we have connected an electric bulb to, shake it, to showcase the control of the mob electric pump from the mobile application. So here is where it is sending the data. So now I'm going to switch off. Switch it off. As you can see, uh, the logic has been written to the device, and it switched off the pump. Now let me turn off the pump. Turn on the pump, which is going to ideally. Now I tapped on the on button. Now, as you can see, it has switched on the motor. We are simulating the motor instead of uh, simulating the motor and uh, with the electrical bulb actually. Okay, in this video, we are going to demonstrate the working of Krishi IoT Earth sensor. Here, as you can see, ESP8266 module is used, and there is a soil moisture sensor dipped into the plant, I mean the earth. Now, I am going to show it in the app the values of the moisture indicator. Now, I am going to Click on the earth. Ideally, yeah, I should be able to get the soil moisture value, which is 480. As you have seen the Krishi IoT i device, now I am gonna. Uh, this is the image that it has provided sometime earlier. I am going to click on get image right now. Hopefully, uh, we'll be getting another image. Yeah, as you can see, the time is changed, and we have got an image from the remote site to our app. So this demonstrates our Krishi IoT i device as well, showing uh, capturing the 